King of the Road Productions presents a special Lost Legends tribute episode. Southeast Texas style. During this show, we'll feature our exclusive tributes to recently deceased Southeast Texas legends, George Jones, Jerry LaCroix, and Johnny Winter. Welcome to the King of the Road Show HD. I'm Jim King of the Road. Of course, you can catch this local entertainment extravaganza every Saturday night at 9.30 and Thursdays at 6.30 a.m. on Fox 4 KBTV and Sundays at 12 noon on The CW. And by the way, the segment that I did with the Cooking Channel's Log On and Eat with Eden Grinch Band at the Mauriceville Crawfish Festival will re-air on the Cooking Channel this Thursday, November 6th at 8 a.m. Since its debut almost a year ago, the episode has aired on national TV over 15 times. Working with the Food Network's Cooking Channel crew was an incredible experience that I'll never forget. Now stay with me for this week's episode. Coming up during the next half hour, we'll air Michael Knight's new music video, Last Night in Texas, as our magnificent music clip of the week, sponsored by Evadale Raceway at evadaleraceway.com. Stay tuned for the lowdown on the next big event coming up November 8th at Ben Bruce Memorial Air Park Raceway. But now we'll launch into our Lost Legends episode. Ride shotgun with me, Cadillac style, to Vider, Texas for the Southeast Texas George Jones tribute. Extra large and turbocharged. It's the King of the Road Show. Oh, hi. One man has the power to take you behind the scenes. Jim King of the Road. Jim King of the Road. It's just the route that I took Well, it's just the route that I took Oh, yeah Oh once I was so lost oh but now I'm found I was blind oh but now I see family friends and colleagues of the late George Ooh. Jones recently paid a very touching Been tribute to him at a packed Benoit's oh, Lewis Hall in the Possum's old hometown of Vider, Texas. Those in attendance included George's oldest sister, Helen Scroggins Jones of Wildwood, Texas. Well, I love my brother because uh, he, he always looked after me and seen that I didn't need nothing. Tell about his great singing. Yeah, and I love to hear him sing up till he died. And tell him about on your dad, daddy's grave. You're going to tell that. And I, I wanted to, uh, the one that broke to watch in from the window up above. My husband loved that song, and so I put it on his tombstone. Now you want to thank everybody? Huh? You want to thank everybody? Thank y'all. Y'all remember when they came in here about an hour and a half ago? They took her over to the rocking chair. You know what she said. I don't need no rocking chair. Huh? She really did. How about that? I don't need no rocking chair. You hear my tall argument again. I still got me on my thing. But uh, anyhow, he's, he, he just loved this guitar. Said it was the most important guitar he's ever owned in his life. And it is what began George Jones. It, is it started George Jones to become George Jones, the singer and player. I think this is really a tribute to Vider to, to show up and, and uh, show support and, and tribute our father. You know, coming from this from a small town and living here, and 
just to have all these folks, you know, love him and, and, and still listen to his music and, and support us. Uh, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm so thankful for everyone here. Thank you so much. What was it like growing up in the George Jones household? Uh, it was uh, exciting. <laughs> it was wild. It was <laughs> Tumultuous sometimes. Yeah. A lot of good times, a lot of good memories. A lot of good memories. Incredible uh, talent he was. And uh, I actually got to speak with him one time. I was working at a local radio station in Beaumont. And uh, he called me up, and it was like one of the biggest thrills of my life. Kicker 95.1, it's Jim King. Hello. Jim, this is George Jones. How are you? Hey, George, how are you, man? Well, we're doing pretty good for an old man. <laughs> This is uh, your hometown you're calling, you know that? Well, you know that. Yeah, boy, uh, we're looking forward to it. We always are. And anytime we we come anywhere close to Beaumont and Texas. Also speaking at the Southeast Texas tribute to George Jones at Ben Was Lewis Hall in Vider, Texas, was songwriter Earl Peanut Montgomery. Earl wrote 73 songs that were recorded by the Possum, along with 31 George Jones, Tammy Wynette tunes. Earl recited a song about George Jones that he was getting ready to record. In 1931, a Texas mother gave birth to a son. She named him George, the singer of songs. In six days, God made heaven and earth. The seventh day, he rested from his work. And on the eighth day, he created the legend of George Jones. <laughs> Songs began to fill the air like a Sunday morning choir. Sounded like angels singing around heaven's throne. The opera has never been the same since the announcer said his name like wildfire spread the legend of George Jones. It's a special Lost Legends episode of the King of the Road Show HD. Southeast Texas style. Still to come are exclusive tributes to Jerry LaCroix. And Johnny Winter. Also still to come, Michael Knight's new music video, Last Night in Texas, as our magnificent music clip of the week, sponsored by Evadale Raceway at EvadaleRaceway.com. You're cruising in the King's Caddy. King of the road. Kingscountry.net is an exciting new source for your country music favorites. Thanks to the launching of King's Country Internet Radio on Independence Day 2011, you no longer have to endure the marathon commercial breaks and personality chatter of regular radio stations. King's Country is sponsored by Five Star Feeds, Red Wagon Cafe, Terrell's Tree Service, and Evadale Raceway. The best that country music has to offer, make kingscountry.net a favorite today.